You know, you just, you just, you just took my opening thing. Uh, my name is Rod Edwards. I'm with Joey Osborne for Congress, and we really do have a completely good field of candidates. I think across the board, every candidate's very concerned with all the issues, with a couple of minor exceptions for a few people. But you're <laughs> <laughs> That, that, that's fine. And you, you, let me say, let me say this too. It's you know, at, at all the county party meetings I've been to with Joey or, or, or like this, the county parties are really the backbone and blood and the life of of the whole party and, and, and of our cause. And this is just incredible, and they've all been incredible. I mean, we're, Trump's going to win easily with this kind of support, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, all right, Joey's two two prior two huge priorities for Joey is making sure we elect Donald J. Trump to the second term. <laughs> And number two, making sure we keep this seat in Republican hands. Uh, like I said, all the candidates are pretty much conservative across the board. Uh, so you really have to look at, at what distinguishes the candidates. Hey, He starts over with a tap. He's going to get more tap. I might filibuster. <laughs> So anyway, so what distinguishes the candidates? I mean, Joey is a successful businessman. Uh, his current company he started uh, and went from zero to fifty million dollars a year without borrowing a dime. Uh, he's going to be a deficit hawk, balancing the budget, making sure we we reduce our national debt because that's really a hindrance, especially for future generations. Uh, his business is in thirty-five different states, uh, over five hundred employees. Is adding another hundred employees uh, this year. He's got over 85,000 customers, so he understands how, how the consumer works. He understands how to deal with government regulations, red tape, uh, and the issues that businesses face. And that's something we're really missing in Washington, D.C. right now. And we have a lot of career politicians. We have a lot of attorneys there. Uh, but we really are missing a lot of business common sense counties. there. You know, and Sean Spicer said it last night at our deal. He goes, the president needs more businessmen in Washington. And I know we've got a few other businessmen here, too. Uh, let me just tell you where the race is at right now. The race has really kind of condensed itself. There, there's a pack that's out there, and Joey is in that pack and has momentum behind him. And one reason why you know Joey's in that pack, one of the candidates has decided to make phone calls, and they're trashing three other candidates. And Joey's one of those three. So you know you're over your target when you're taking flack, right? So I just ask you, take a look at Joey Osborne. He's never run for office before, never held office. He's a true political outsider like the president. Our polling shows that people really want that. Take a look at electability, too. We can't have somebody on the ballot who's got some baggage that the Democrats are going to use in the general election. And trust me, they don't care if something's actually factual or not. If it's out there, they're going to use it. We cannot lose this race. And I think Joey Osborne's the best option for you. And like I said, just look at Joey. Just give him a good hard look. And I hope he earns your vote. So thank you all very much. And thank you for what you did.